Hi, this is Joseph from Joe Concepts. Welcome to another quick tip. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to create an animation or how to create a setup whereby you leave a footprint on the floor. You can see in the video, in this video, you notice that as these characters are moving, they kind of leave their footprint behind on the floor. So that is what we are going to be looking at. We're going to be making use of the format tool. And the, the format we are going to be making use is um, Collision Deformer. I did a tutorial some times back when I used Collision Deformer to create parts. So in this case, I thought of trying to create um, a form of footprints while you walk and you know if you walk on snow as you're walking you have a kind of compression and you leave your footprint so that is what this tutorial is about so without further ado let's get into the tutorial <clears throat> so i'm going to open up cinema 4d and here in cinema 4d the first thing i'm going to do is let me just close this so the first thing i'm going to do is to create the object that i want to collide with so this is the object, so I'm going to reduce this down. And also if I hit NB, I'm going to have this number of subdivision. So in your own case, now the detail you're going to have on the compression will be determined by the segment value that you have. So if you have a lesser um, segment value, then you don't have enough detail in the compression. So you should put that in mind. So I'm going to go out for now and do that set up. Then I'm going to bring in my character, which I downloaded from Mixamo. All right, so the setup is just you bringing up your collision deformer and put it as a child of um, your object, whatsoever it is. So in this case, it's gonna be a landscape object. So you go to the collision deformer go to the collider this is where you are going to put in an object that you want to collide with it so if for instance i'm going to bring up this sphere for instance let me just bring this up <clears throat> and if i go to the collision deformer and i drag this sphere into this solver object field on my collision tab then that means when this sphere collides with this um landscape it should create a form of collision and compress so the kind of solver is going to be making use of will be dependent on which of these options you have but the, i found out the best one that works is outside so and also coming back to the object tab the fall off type that i have is none so i want to change this because right now if i'm selecting this i can bring the then start having collision notice what is happening you start having collision so what i want to do is as i'm working i don't want this to get back so but before then i can come back to the collision change the fall off to surface so that by the time i start moving this it still have this surface collision but what is that stuff that will make it so if i come here and change this to like 500 for instance and I play this animation. If I start bringing this down, you notice that this is came, getting back to its initial position. So how can I do so that by the time I'm moving, it doesn't get back to the initial position? And that setting can only be done here under your restore shape. That is what is causing the whole thing. So I would want to bring this setting down. I don't want it to be 100% because I just want, I still want it to come up a little bit. So I'll say 0 0.07 just to say so if i'm if we look at this now and we bring this over here you notice that it creates the collision and it's not you're having that part so it's gradually fades off and look at the deformation that you have there you don't really have enough detail because of the subdivision that i have so if i come here and i crank up the subdivision to say 200 by 200 then go back to this you should have you should have more detail in that so you can see but the downside to this is it slows down the render time and also your viewport so that is how to get that so this is the majorly the setup that you need and mind you i'm trying to do this without any external plugin so 
put that in mind. So having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in my character object that I'm going to use. So if I go back to this, I want to get rid of this border. So I have this shape. <clears throat> so I have a, an animation that I downloaded. So I'm going to bring up the animation and load into this Cinema 4D. So if I drag this walk animation into the Cinema 4D, then I have this walk animation. So what I'm going to do is replay this. This is the animation that I have. So I want to bring this animation over to that. Um, drawing so what i'm going to do over to that scene so you, you notice the timing that we have this is 106 so what i'm going to do is just to group this animation just group this model or g will group this so i can just call this my walk animation so i'm going to copy this walk ctrl c and hit v to bring up this hot um option that can come down to the project get back to the previous one that i had so Ctrl C will paste this here. So if we check this now, we will start. If, you, if I play this for a while, you won't see any interaction. And the reason why I don't see interaction is because we need to go back to the collision deformer and tell what we want to collide. We want this object to collide with it. But before then, I'm going to bring this here so that it doesn't start on the object. So I'm going to have something like this. So the collision will start as it brings his leg over to the object. So what we'll do is go to the collision. I'm going to get rid of this sphere. Then over to this object. These are the things that I want, the geometry, not the skeletism. So I'll bring this first geometry and the next geometry. So the next time I do that and I try and play this, you notice that you're having a form of compression on, on that. So. For me to increase the timing, what I want to do is to calculate this um, simulation. So if I select the collision, then go to the cache, then I will just click on calculate. So as soon as I calculate, I calculate this. Okay, so I have I forgot something. I just press escape to stop that. Remember the timing for this is 106. So I'm going to reduce this to 106. Then get back to the initial position and recalculate this. So I'm just going to wait for this to calculate. Once it calculates, then it can play in real time. So let's just wait for it to finish the calculation. Then I'll be back. All right, so I'm here and the calculation is done and complete. So if we are to play this now, you notice that this object is moving and it's interacting with the geometry. So you can already see that as it's moving, it's having an interaction with the geometry. So that's pretty much it with how to create these footprints as you move over your object you have your footprint so i just like i said this is just like a quick tip and i know some people would have been looking for this i was looking for how to create this but it took me time but i just felt we should also know this so if you feel this tutorial was helpful please give me a like and thumbs up and also do expect more tutorials from me in the coming days ahead so do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye